Hello, bună ziua! Mă numesc Georgiana Elena Popan. Sunt povestitoare și vin din România. Hello, my name is Georgiana Elena Popan. I am a storyteller and I come from Romania. This is a traditional Romanian costume from the center of Romania. You know, in our country, perhaps it's same in your country, there are very different traditional costumes from each region. There's a different type of costume. Of course, girls have more special costumes than boys. Eh, that's the way it is. So first of all, I uh, would like to uh, teach you um, a song. A song which in Romanian means cântec. So this cântec, it's like this. You'll have to just repeat after me. It's very, very easy. Don't worry, okay? Alunelu, alunelu, hai la joc. Să ne fie, să ne fie cu noroc. Alunelu, alunelu, hai la joc. Să ne fie, să ne fie cu noroc. This means the child, the girl or the, the boy that belongs to Nelu, who is the father, should come to dance. And if he or she comes to dance, that would be a lucky dance. Alunelu, alunelu, hai la joc. Come to play. Joc means also play, but also dance in Romanian. And then we have the big, very important part of the song. It's like this. Cine în horă o să joace, more, more se va face. Cine nu juca de fel, să rămână miditel. Alunelu, alunelu, hai la joc, să ne fie, să ne fie cu noroc. So that hard part of the song, it means that if you're not coming to dance, then you'll stay very, very little. But... If you dance with us and our Romanian dance, when everybody holds each other's hands, it's called Hora. So if you go to a Hora and you dance, you'll grow up very, very, very tall, which every kid wants to do that, right? Or if not, then you'll be very small left aside. So because of that, everybody wants to dance. So let's just sing it and dance it together. Alunelu, alunelu, hai la joc, să ne fie, să ne fie cu noroc. cine în horă o să joace, more, more se va face. cine n juca de fel, să rămână <coughs> mititel. Alunelu, alunelu, hai la joc, să ne fie, să ne fie cu noroc. Yay! Good! So this is the Romanian song that all children sing it when they go to kindergarten, but also in schools, the first grades in, uh, in primary school. Now it's the important time of this program, which means my Romanian story. Okay, so first of all, whenever I tell a story, I ask people that are listening and watching it to do like this. First you shake. And you get very comfortable. Okay, good. Then you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And then you concentrate. You concentrate very, very, very hard. Are you concentrating? Very good. A fost odată, ca niciodată, că de n-ar fi sigur nu s-ar povesti. This is the Romanian introduction for every fairy tale, every tale we do. Which means, once there was, because if it hasn't been, it would have been told. So, a fost odată ca niciodată că de n-ar fi sigur nu s-ar povesti. Once upon a time, in a Romanian very nice village, long, long, long time ago, Uh, maybe, uh, you know, I'm old, but a little bit older than me. So I was born a couple of days after this story was born. <clears throat> yeah. So in those times, in this beautiful village, there lived this handsome man, which is 
un bărbat frumos and his wife beautiful woman o femeie frumoasă and they had a baby which in Romanian is bebeluș and of course this man also had in his house his mother-in-law anyway they were very happy all together so one day as he usually do he went to the fields to work his wife with his with her baby she was swinging and singing and giving him food and then after all the baby <laughs> went to sleep so his mother mama put him on top of a chimney you know in the romanian traditional houses there's always a chimney which it's called sob so everybody has it in the first room of this house where they are doing the food They are t t talking there, even sleeping on top of this soba because it's very hot but also nice on top of it. And she puts the baby there on top of the soba, on top of the chimney. But you know, perhaps in your tradition too is the same. On top of this soba, the chimney, there's always very close to the chimney stack, there is a shelf where people put like housewife put their salt and flour and um, oh, whatever they need to, to cook, to do the meal. So she put the baby there and as she was watching him, oh, so beautiful, she looked up and down, up and down. And she started crying and crying. Her mother came and said, My darling, what happened? What, what, what are you crying about? <laughs> what is happening? What's wrong? No, my baby is going to die. <gasps> Why? Why is he going to die? Oh, his time is done. I can't, I can't believe this. Why are you saying this, my child? Well, can't you see? Uh, on top of that shelf, there's a drop of salt. And if the cat goes up and with, it, with its paw just throws the drop of salt, if it happens, then it, if it happens, then the drop of salt will drop exactly on my baby. <laughs> Okay, so her mother said, You're right! Oh, my nephew is going to die! My grandchild is going to die! So the both of them started to cry and cry. Until the man came back home and he was very shocked what happened are you okay is the baby okay oh he's not okay, <laughs> oh, he's, not okay. he's going to die what do you mean he's going to die my baby is going to die what the man said mm, women you are very silly which in Romanian means very tuante forte tuante or more more foolish which means proste so he said if I go in the world and I'll find somebody sillier than you tuante more than you then I'll come back home otherwise I cannot live in this house anymore So he grabbed his bag and he left and he went and went and walked and walked from one village to another until he found a man who was actually behaving very very weird. He was trying to push something, actually to, to drag something out of the house 
and because he could not do it, he was he was held by two horses and another pair and another pair. It was, it was like a, a dozen of horses and all was trying to drag something very, very big, very, very hard from the house. And he felt miserable because he could not do it. So our man approached and said, hello, good sir, what, what are you doing? Why are you so miserable? <laughs> <laughs> what what what's happened? Ah! <laughs> Imagine this, he said. I have to tear apart all my house. Why? Why do you have to do this? <laughs> because uh, because I'm a wheel right, you know, I'm a, a blacksmith and I do wheels and everything that it's needed for a carriage. And I've done my own carriage. Good, but uh, you see, I've done it all inside the house. So now the carriage is very big and the door is very small. So I cannot get it out. And because of that, I have to destroy all my house so I can get out my carriage. Oh, I'm so miserable, I'm so miserable. So our man said, <laughs> I have an idea. He went inside the house. He deconstruct all the pieces of uh, the carriages, all the big wheels or the small wheels. And then he took all the pieces out of the house and said, now you build now this carriage again outside of the house. And that's easy. Then you have the house and you have the carriage. Oh, that is so smart. Thank you very much. May God help you. May God bless you. You helped me so much. Yeah, 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 don't worry, said the man. And while he was going on his way, he was thinking, yeah, that man is really silly. But then again, he approached another man who was also acting very, very silly. You can imagine a big fork, yes? And this peasant has the, the fork and he was trying to get a lot of nuts on top, in the attic, on top of the house. But of course, all the nuts bling, 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 would fall down. And again, he tried a lot of them and bling, 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 and again, boom, she tried and bling, 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 bling. <sighs> again, he felt very, very miserable and he was very sad. Our man approached and said, excuse me, what, what's happening here? Why are you sad? Well, you see, <laughs> My wife loves nuts, okay? And I'm thinking for this autumn so she can do a lot of beautiful, very tasty cookies with, uh, with chestnuts and all sorts of nuts. But I cannot get all these nuts on my attic, so what can I do? Uh, <laughs> I can try to do with the fork all day long. It, it just it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And our man said, well, how about you take a basket? And you put them all inside and get them up. Ha! Huh, that's an idea! <laughs> this is very interesting. Yeah, yeah. The man said, well, you should try it. Thank you very much, kind sir. That, that's a brilliant idea. You are very smart. Well, thank you very much. And you are very silly. <laughs> so he went and went along and walked and walked until, of course, in the next village he found another person, another peasant, peasant behaving very, very strange. Imagine this. He was trying to push a cow. To drag it on the stairs until the attic. Why are you trying to do that? said the man. Well, because can't you see? Can't you see the one that my, 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 my cow is very, very thin and, and it, it's very hungry. Uh, it, it needs to, to, be, to, to be fat, but um, it doesn't want to. I'm trying to get her, my cow, my beautiful cow to go out because that's where the hay is and she needs to eat. But it's a cow, our man said. A cow cannot walk the stairs. 
<laughs> How can else I can I can give it food? The hay is upstairs. What can I do? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So they were fighting and fighting. The poor cow was so so. <laughs> So, so, so sad and she was so exhausted. So our man said, excuse me, why don't you get, get some hay from up and just put it in front of the cow so she can eat? Yes. Yes. Arr! That's a good idea. Hmm, I could do that too. Yes, of course you could. So our peasant thanked our man and then our wonderful hero went along and he kept on saying, well, that's very, very silly. But <laughs> he was almost about to come back home when he realized there's another person there in the next village. Uh, in the first house and he's doing something really weird that's very weird so he approached and this this Romanian was actually holding a, a, a barrel but um, in Romania it's butoi but we had uh, we have small barrels which is uh, butoyash <laughs> so he was holding the butoyash towards the Sun and then running inside the house and then towards the Sun outside and then inside the house so our, our hero said excuse me excuse me kind sir what are you doing there <laughs> leave me with my sorrows and my oh, I, 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 I'm getting old with this and I will never do it I, I, I'm sure I'm sure this is too much for me and though I'm, I'm I'm smart I think I'm smart but I cannot do this anymore I'm so sad what happened said our hero well you see my house if you go inside you see it's very very dark and i was just trying to get with my little butoyash some sunlight a natural light and I just throw it inside my dark house but i'm throwing it and it doesn't stay <gasps> So our man was so exhausted of, of all these silly people and he said, excuse me, you have a hammer, which in Romanian is topor. Yeah, 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 sure. There you go. <laughs> Stop crying, said our man. He approached the house and he was exactly watching towards the, the door. One side wall, the other side another wall. Took the hammer, two big holes appeared. And he said, well, you see, now you have your windows. And if you go inside now, you will discover the sunlight is going in and staying there. <gasps> this is amazing. Windows, I would never think or thought about that. Windows, amazing! Now there's a lot of sunlight coming inside. Thank you, kind sir. I think you've done a lot of universities, otherwise, because you're very smart. Yes, thank you very much, said the man. And he said, yeah, and you're very silly. So he realized, hmm, I think it's much more probability than a cat with its paw would throw a drop of salt mm, down than all these people, people that are very silly around the world. So he came back to his house, to his family and lived happily ever after thinking there's a lot of foolish people all around the world. So it's important for us to think straight, to think about things first before we act. So this is my story and now I will tell you the way we end our story in Romania. So you put your hands like this. We are very proud people and with nose up 
And you say, Sha manga le cap your sha. She must put for best their sha. Oi ha! <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the story. Bye bye. Thank you.